Gamey Daddy. Hello everyone, this is Emmond with Gamey Daddy and I'm here with another video from Tom Clancy's The Division. So, today I'm trying to see if we can answer the question if the Claire Sky Farm is actually difficult when you're running with randoms. Now, this is not a Claire Sky Farm tutorial. There are hundreds of those on, online. If you want to learn how to do it, you can actually go online and do it. The difficulty is finding a team to do it on the fly. So just randomly matchmaking and then do it. Now, why am I saying the difficulty is that is because I've seen like some comments on the servers on, you know, on PC with people just complaining that they can't find good groups to run it with. Well, honestly, that's not largely the case, but there is that instance where you don't find good players that can actually run the mission. But what am I what am I what I'm trying to do today is I'm not trying to say that the Clear Sky Farm is the most efficient farm or it isn't. I'm just going to tell you how to make it easy if you're going to be running with randoms. So your goal is to try to run it under 10 minutes. That's where you, that's where you want to stand. You want to run it under 10 minutes or if you can run it, you know, at 11 minutes whatever that's still fine um, say you complete each run in 11 minutes say you know based on random matchmaking and you're able to do six runs in an hour this is going to yield you about 5400 ge credits this is uh the global events credits which will eventually yield you three of the superior caches and then you can buy the other uh global event cache for 900 uh, credits so what do you want you want you're getting four c caches in an hour and so I think it's probably a good way to farm. So some of the things you want to do when you're going into just a random matchmake is you want to take two cookie cutter builds with you. That's all they are. Just take a, a DPS build or a healer build and you can switch back and forth if you save them, you know, as a, what are they as a loadouts and all that good stuff. So you can run a final measure combination of whatever, you know, you wish that way you can, you know, kind of diffuse mortars and all that good stuff or you can just go with the reclaimer or you can go with the dps striker build you do four piece striker savage something something that's just going to be crushing the enemies it's your choice now you can also um if you want to go crazy you can run a firecrest build use high skill power but the goal is to have a good heal i feel like that's what it is that a lot of people are missing like sometimes i go into some of the random matchmaking um deals and some people's heals can't even get you to full health you want your heal to be able to at least get you to full health except you're a dps player and so that's probably not gonna matter the second thing you want to do is you want to know the team style so when you jump in this game you know you want to kind of feel the team some people are good about jumping in and just taking the lead and saying hey guys we're gonna try to run it this way this way and this way and sometimes nobody speaks to each other but you want to kind of know the pace of the game and so you want to follow through so that you don't get kicked off the group so some teams are going to do some things differently. Some people will start from the right side. Some people will start from the left side. Some people would, after planting the fuses, will run under the chopper and wait for the boss. Or some people will run to the stairs to wait and funnel all the NPCs in there, take them down. The boss usually comes. And so when the boss comes in there, you know, they're just going to, you know, all gang up on the boss, use tactical link and shred him to, you know, pieces. Also, some people on their teams will run the survival link as well. That's always nice. It's kind of convenient because that chopper will be shredding you to pieces. I don't care what your toughness is. You might be able to take a few more hits, but it's going to do a good job to take you down. And then you have those two snipers as well. So four caches in an hour. Imagine if you put out, you know, 10 hours of farming or whatever. So four caches an hour in 10 hours, you have 40 caches. Now, we have 120 hours or so left on the global event. So when I'm saying 10 hours, some people might be like, man, I don't have 10 hours. But over the course of four days, if you want to get the classifieds that are being dropped right now, it's probably one of your best bets. And then there's also the chance that you might get a classified drop in doing some you know, other things as well. So five days left, 120 hours. I'm not saying grind for 120, <laughs> 120 hours in five days. That would be insane if this wasn't your uh, full-time job or if you're not a content creator. So when you're matchmaking with, you know, randoms, I think that's kind of one of the most rewarding uh, things you can do. And so just to get ready, getting those builds in place, following these few steps, I think you might be able to just come out on top with, you know, your credits and get yourself your six piece, uh, whatever. And also you might be able to get yourself um, some exotics. I got myself the the big Alejandro. I think I got that one from playing Warren Gate. So that was not even a thing. Uh, what else did I even get? I got my six piece predator, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to bring a video for you guys on that one. And I also got the house. The house I got from 
I think one of the caches as well. So that's pretty much some of the things that, you know, I've been able to get this past few days. Um, I got a defense gear set as well, the six piece. I didn't want it, but I kept getting it. So I just kept them all. And then I'm also going to try that one. And I'll probably bring you guys a video here in a bit. Anyways, thank you so much for listening and watching. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click it. Uh, just so I can bring you guys some more content. Thank you for those of you who've been on this channel for such a long time. I appreciate you guys' uh, audience. And thank you again. And peace.